we have to begin with Aber. But, but is the beginning. We live in a weird moment when multiple catastrophes, pandemic, global warming, social tensions, the prospect of full digital control over our thinking and so on, compete for primacy. We hear again and again that we are at the end of history, but this end just drags on and even brings its own enjoyment. Man, in his very essence, is a catastrophe, a reversal that turns him away from the genuine essence. Man is the only catastrophe in the midst of beings. Eigentlich ist äh, die Apokalypse ähm, die Bedingung fürs Menschsein. Our basic stance should be: We are already in apocalypse. When you have a concept of Freiraum, the Geisteswissenschaften, the free space for the humanities, I think it's great to have a speaker who uses that space and is really provocative. He worked on the difference between catastrophe and apocalypse, yeah. and that has actually been one of the questions we've had this past semester, and I think that's one of the questions that will um, continue to come up in our discussions at the center, so that was really fundamental. It seems that we prefer to die than to allow the apocalyptic threat to scare us to death. The conviction that Zizek's work is key for our project and its flip side that the apocalypse can be used as a prison to understand his work. I said that the world has probably not ended and yet there is an idea that our world, our world, is about to change profoundly, radically that we are living in the end times, as reads the title of Shishek's 2010 book. This is chaos, but if we apply the story of the apocalypse to it, we can imagine or it creates the illusion that we know what is happening to us. I think that the topics you're tackling here are extremely relevant for today's political dynamics. Apocalypticism is uh, found also in, for example, far-right extremist conspiracy mythologies. It's a project that bridges um, the old part of the town and the new town, so the humanities and the sciences. I wish for Kappas that we become a place for controversial conversation. What Apocalypse discloses is something hidden, the ultimate truth we are blind for in our ordinary lives.